This video explains how to calculate the interquartile range in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the first example of this video, I will first show how to calculate the interquartile range for a data frame column. And for this, we first need to load some example data, as you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame called empty cars is appearing. And we can print the first six rows of this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains different information about cars. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the interquartile range for the MPG column of our data frame. Then we can apply the IQR function, as you can see in line five of the code. And within this function, we need to specify the name of our data frame. So in this case, empty cars. Then we need to apply the dollar operator. And after the dollar operator, we need to specify the name of the column for which we want to calculate the interquartile range. So in this case, the column MPG. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom that one value is returned. And this value is the interquartile range for our data frame column MPG. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate the IQR for a data frame column. However, it's also possible to calculate the IQR for vector objects. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line seven of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called a VEC. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that our vector object contains different numeric values. And you can also see that some of the values are missing, which is represented by an A. So if you apply the IQR function to this vector object, as you can see in line 10 of the code, the error message error in quantile default missing values and NANs not allowed if NA remove is false has been returned. And the reason for that is that the IQR function cannot handle NA values with the default settings. However, fortunately, the IQR function provides an argument which is called NA.RM. And if we specify this argument to be equal to true, as you can see in line 12 of the code, all the missing values are removed from our vector object before the interquartile range is calculated. So if you run line 12 of the code, you can see that another value has been returned and this value is the interquartile range of our vector object after removing the NA values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.